Hey everyone, WTF Sexy Headphones here on this fabulous Monday. I'm gonna try and force my happy because I'm kind of in an annoyed mood. Um, because I've literally, like, this is what I've been doing when trying to record. Like, this is what's been happening. <laughs> Hi, Titan. What do you want? Ow! <laughs> Seriously? Why you gotta be so gross? You gotta be so gay. Ew, ew, stop slobbering on your nasty. Nasty. Now, in case that doesn't translate well, it's pretty much a lot of fucking waiting. Because... You know, I'm trying not to rant because I don't want to be a dick. Part of me wants to be a dick, but the other part of me doesn't. But let's just say, like, family and YouTube just don't mix. And that brings me into my next thing. I'm sorry that my uploads have been so shit the last weekend and couple of days and yada yada, but kind of goes with what I just said. The whole family and YouTube thing just 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 doesn't mix at all and I keep getting dragged out to places where people keep deciding they're gonna watch really shitty movies behind me and I can't record when that's happening and it's just been oh it's been grating at my nerves and I'm, I'm just like ah, never have your computer in a loft ever okay I'm good I'm good breathe not only that I may have probably mentioned this before, but I hate, hate's a strong word, I don't like a lot kids. That was improper English. I'm not a fan of kids. I don't like them very much. And today I was out photographing locations because I potentially have a second job um, with a photography studio and the photographer wants me to scout locations near where I am to send clients there and photograph them there. And kids gotta sound like they're being murdered all the time, and I just can't tell you how much it drives me nuts. And normally I get used to it, but I actually got freaked out today because I heard this kid screaming, and I'm like, oh, it's kids playing, but then they kept screaming, and they're screaming for their mom, and they're screaming help, and then they're screaming you're hurting me, and I'm like, holy f like a fucking kid's being murdered or something. And there's like, where I was at, it's like, here's like, here's nice park. And then here's like a ravine of shitty ass half dead plants and it's like a, a no man's land. And then like in, like off further to the side is a road. And I like nearly freaked out. I was like, holy fuck, like someone's being assaulted. They're actually being attacked and blah, blah, blah. And I like try and I go over there and they were all the way on the other side. And I couldn't see what was happening. I just saw things kind of being thrown. And it just turned out it was just one dick of a fucking kid being a dick to another kid. And probably their brother or something. It scared the shit out of me. I was like, holy fuck, I need to grab my phone and call the cops. And I'm like, I need to go get my tripod so I can bash someone's head in. And then I'm like, fuck, I don't have my tripod. What am I going to bash their head with? And then I have my camera. I'm like, I might have to bash their head in with this to save whoever the fuck is dying over there. Nope, it's just fucking dick children being dicks. <laughs> oh my god, my heart was pounding. I seriously thought someone was being, like, brutally attacked and it freaked me the fuck out. And, and then actually, when I was, like, trying to go over there, like, apparently a cop must have been in the area because they just pulled up, and I'm like, okay, good, you deal with those fuckers. Ah, <laughs> uh, I wanted this to be short, but this is going on longer. I'm sorry. I, I just, I, uh, <sighs> <laughs> uh, Anyway, so I wanted to make some announcements Mainly just that apology for being a piece of nonsense and really shitty with keeping things consistent. <sighs> yep. Don't back sass me, phone, I swear to God. Anyway, so... Just made an awesome TF2 video. I think it's awesome. This is what I've been working on for like the whole weekend and prior to. And I've been trying so hard to get this done. And it's been taking so much editing and so much things. And then the sucky thing is when I make videos like this, I end up just playing for more rounds than I need to be because I'm, I'm a gamer and that's what I do. So if you guys haven't checked it out, it's of the Halloween Scream Fortress 2013 event. It's pretty much showcasing all the spells they have and how to use them. So I would love it if you guys looked at that because I spent so much time editing that and I just think it's fantastic. So if you guys want to check it out and think it's fantastic, that would be fantastic. So there's that. Go watch that. Also, tomorrow, 
I'm going to be putting up and starting the Let's Play for Dead Space 3 with the dentist. We already did some recordings and we've been having some issues and things were going kind of all psycho. I think I told you last Monday that I was going to have that out sometime last week, but because Origin is a shitty client, we couldn't do anything. Thankfully, we finally were able to. We still had some complications. Things are still a little bit messed up, but that's going to be out tomorrow. I finally got some videos rendered of that, so be prepared for Dead Space 3 has the dentist in it. He's my co-op player. He's an awesome British dude. Um, I will be linking his channel in every single video and he's tons of fun. So you'll definitely have to go check him out. And I hope you guys like it and I hope you find it exciting because I'm really excited to be doing a co-op let's play with someone else. I think it's a little bit more fun um, because I do. I lost my train of thought. Anyway, I think that's all I gotta say. I'll probably put a stalker video out tomorrow. If not, if I'm not putting a stalker video out tomorrow, it's going to be Wednesday, whatever day is after tomorrow, Wednesday. It's probably gonna be Wednesday that I'm going to put a stalker one out. Um, I might decide to release it on Tuesday, but I don't know. I haven't decided. So that's all I gotta say. Sorry for being shitty. I don't like children. Family and YouTube don't mix. The Dentist. Dead Space, Team Fortress 2. Is there anything I'm missing? I don't think so. Anyway, story time. This one's a quick one. Don't laugh too hard. So, have you I, guys ever swam in a pool and you just kind of like, you like, have you ever swam in a pool with your eyes closed and you kind of know when you're getting close to the wall? Well, like a lot of the times when I would swim in my pool in Illinois when I lived there, I would close my eyes when I swim so it doesn't bug my eyes. And then I would like sense that the pool wall was near. And then so I felt pretty cool. Well, one day, I'm pretty sure I didn't tell this story. Did I tell this story? I hope I didn't. I need to log if I've told these stories. I feel like I haven't yet. If I did, I'm sorry. So one day, I really hope I didn't. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> So one day I was in gym class my freshman year and we were doing sprints in the gym. And for some reason I decided to think of the whole pool thing while running sprints. And I'm sure you guys can see where this is going, but I'll continue enlightening you. So, sorry, there's like, oh, it feels like there's something about, oh, it's going on. Anyway, so I decided to think that while running sprints in gym class because I was an intelligent 15 year old and I thought, I wonder if I can sense if I'm getting close to the wall while running sprints. <laughs> I made it to one side of the gym, okay, and I did pretty well. The other way, not so much. So right when I thought, hey, I think I'm getting close to the wall, that's kind of when me and the wall became really good friends. And it was a painful experience for me. Thankfully, I didn't give myself a bloody nose to knock myself out. I don't really know if, I think like only a few people noticed it, but I felt extremely unintelligent because as a 15 year old in high school, I feel like that's shenanigans you shouldn't be doing, but I did. So there's that. Fun little fact, I can twirl, hold on. I can tie my hair in a knot with one hand. Well, I need a smaller strand. I, I know this is really exciting to you guys, but this is what, why are you working? <laughs> this is what I can do. This is my outstanding America's Got Talent act. I can tie my hair in a knot with one hand, and I feel pretty talented about it. And I know what you guys are thinking. Wow, that's dumb. You guys can see that, right? I hope so. I can't tell. Anyway, I'm going to go because I got called into work for the midnight launch of Call of Pooty. I'm sorry, Call of Duty. I don't know why, but Call of Pooty sounds fun. Pooty. What is Pooty? Anyway, so I gotta go work that. Um, I hope I can get this out before I leave. <laughs> Have a lovely day, guys. Bye-bye. Feel my power!